What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time stopping in, make sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. In today's video, we finished up the air compressor build. In last video, we picked it up, we stripped it down, sanded it, and refinished it in some uh, bed liner. If you guys missed that, make sure to go back and watch it. It's a good video. Um, today's video, we wrap it up, put all new parts on it. We upgrade pretty much everything on it. Um, finish up the electrical and see if it works. We also test the air compressor for leaks. I think it came out really good and looks really good. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. Here's a quick little sneak peek. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned to the end. All sprayed up red, like a, kind of like a Milwaukee red. I think it's yeah. gonna look really good, which we'll set them on the uh, tank here in a minute. And then I went and picked up a rivet gun so I can put back the little tiny plaque that goes on the um, pump here on the back, which you guys will see here in a minute. And I, yeah, I picked up a rivet, a new rivet gun so I didn't have one. And then I also sprayed the uh, air filter cover with the bed liner as well because it'll go on right here. So, boom. I should have gone this side. My bad. Nice little, nice little accent there. I'm gonna see if I can get some new. Uh, air filter material like cut myself a new air filter all right so right here are the old parts around like an air compressor you got the old gauge there's no glass on it old and rusty and then you have the old pressure switch it has no on off switch the guy had it hardwired so anytime that the tank was low it is automatic refill and that would be really annoying so right here i got a new two and a half inch gauge goes up to 200 psi nice clean that'll look good and then this box right here, we got the new pressure switch, single port. If I can get it out of this freaking bag. Boom, nice, clean. Got the on off switch, auto. That'll be awesome. But anyways, I'm gonna get those installed. I'm gonna get the pump and the um, motor on the, the tank right now. And then we'll start getting these things on. I got some, uh, some plugs and everything, so that way, because on the, uh, Pressure switch here, the gauge, the new gauge will go on the front, boom, which is pressure switch is good for 125 PSI. If I need to go above that, I can just upgrade this later on, which is super easy. But my gauge will go on there on the front. I'll uh, take some plugs, which I couldn't decide if I needed to go with brass plugs or um, galvanized, but I saw this is brass, so I got uh, enough of each. So I'm gonna go with brass, obviously, since that's brass, it tells me everything I need to know. This bottom side here will go on the top of the tank, which if we go over here, are we are moving place. around this. We are moving all over the place. So when I was spraying, I put this temporary cap on. It wasn't even the right size, but hey, it freaking worked. As you can see, the threads aren't, aren't uh, covered. But this guy right here will just twist on like that. Go on like that, boom, I'll have my freaking switch right there, on off, easy peasy. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get all my plugs threaded in here. See, we just got the pump and the motor on there. I think that looks freaking primo. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the color combination. So next up, we got to bolt down the pump and the motor. And over here, we got all the old hardware, which is all rusty and crusty and old. So <laughs> luckily, I've been since I've been starting to organize the garage, I have started to stock up on some bolts and everything. So luckily, I have some 5 16 bolts here, which is exactly what was on the old... Um, the old ones, so I'm just gonna replace it with brand new freshies and I'm making it look a lot better. I have washers and nuts and everything, so we are good to freaking go.
straight. Boom! I ended up drilling it out. The old one drilled it out and took it off before I painted, obviously. And uh, eighth inch uh, rivet, perfect. I had to drill it out a little bit because it was like in between the eighth inch and uh, three thirty seconds. But yeah, looks really good. So I got all the wiring done last night, which I'll show you guys here in a second, but I wanted to show you something real quick first. This morning, we woke up, it is April 11th as I'm filming this, and if we go out here, like outside, you guys can see there is snow on the ground. Super weird, and it's supposed to snow all week long apparently, which is not common for this area for it to snow in April. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are still getting snow this time of year. Super weird for us. But if you come over here, you can see the two new plugs. We got the uh, air compressor plug right here and the miscellaneous plug. And if I go ahead and flip the grinder on right here, you can see we got no power. Because if I come to the panel over here, I got the breaker off. So we got a 20 amp breaker right here for that miscellaneous plug, which I'll go ahead and flip that on. And then below it, we have a double pole 30 amp plug, which is for the air compressor, which I'll leave off until we're all wrapped up. Then I'll move it over here, plug it in, turn the breaker on, test everything out. But if I flip it on now, you can see we got power so everything works as it should sorry it was zoomed in there but everything works as it should that plug will be for like the welder if i need it or the sandblaster or the grinder over here or like a extension cord or whatever i need it for it'll be nice to have an extra outlet over here as well as the outlet for the air compressor obviously because air compressor is going to go right here and then on the table over here we got some stuff to go over so right here we have all the parts needed to wrap up the air compressor build so first off i have this old 6282 uh, oven core laying around and I was gonna use it, but it's way too thick and overkill for this job. So I went to Home Depot, picked up some 10 gauge uh, dryer cord. That'll be my power source for the air compressor that'll get plugged into the outlet. And then right here, which you guys saw in last video, this is the old uh, water separator, as well as the gauge and regulator with the coupler, which you, you would hook up your uh, hose in right here. So we got this new one, which is a uh, filter regulator combo. So it has a regulator built into the top here instead of having this funky extra pieces all built onto it's old school handle and then right down here we have a nice new drain for it this is a three quarter um which i have all the pieces right here needed to make it work with the air compressor as well as new industrial couplers instead of going to home depot and getting those cheap ones these ones are really nice if i actually put the one of the fittings in here wrong one Ugh, it's hard to do with one hand I'll do it this way Okay, if I do it like this, you'll literally see how far this is. Like, these ones are really nice. They're like $11 a piece, but definitely worth it compared to like those Home Depot Harbor Freight cheap ones. But anyways, we got some synthetic oil right here. More than enough. I picked up two just to have a little bit of extra. Um, right here is the extra gauge that we'll need that'll go on the front of the uh, 
regulator here. And I got all these parts at Pacific Air Compressors. Super awesome dudes. The guy there was really helpful. Like you guys saw in the last video, I painted the uh, air filter cover. And I was going to see if I get some new filter material to make myself a new one. But instead, they came out with these new style. Which if you open it up here, you can see filters inside there. Nice new. So I'll twist that on and that'll go in the side of the uh, air compressor there. Nice and easy. And then right here, I got a relief valve. Because like you guys saw me put those plugs in the side here. This uh, relief valve will go on the side here um, instead of that plug. So that'll, that'll get replaced with this relief valve. And then right here we have the old drain valve, which is like a wing style, which the guy told me that they strip out over time. So instead I went with this style one, which is just a twist open, twist close, one strip out. And then this week's little Matco pickup, we have a 50 foot Flexzilla air hose reel. As you can see there, nice lime green. The hose feels really cool. Let me test it out on the truck. But I'm gonna probably mount it up right there, so that way when the air pressure is moved into its spot right there, I can just go over there, pull my cord that I need, and then just you know pull it and let it go back in instead of having to wind it up. Like the old school stuff, it sucks. But yeah, the nicer things in life. I wanted to have a nice setup because I'm already putting so much money and time in the air compressor that I want to have like a legit setup and everything. And I went industrial with everything because I want it all to last. And then right here we have a quarter inch uh, socket set, standard and metric. This thing's awesome. I was going to take it out of the case and put it into the toolbox, but I've been using it so much in here. I mean, it's still probably going to go in there, but it's nice to have it in here. Maybe I'll pick up another set. I don't know. So I just have that installing a bunch of the parts. We got the uh, filter with the regulator on here. I got the gauge installed. The uh, coupler installed right here for the air hose. And then I got the drain installed on the bottom. I got my power supply right here. I got some 3 8 clamp connectors holding them in on both sides as well as the power to the motor. And then one thing I wanted to show before I put, I put the cover on but I want to take it off and show you guys. Um, the motor, it's marked says motor then line. So you have obviously your two line, two uh, wires for your motor and then your two wires um, for your uh, compressor and then your grounds down here. But I want to show you that it doesn't matter which uh, side you hook up black and white. I just did both on one side that way. It obviously it looks clean to me, um, even though it's going to have a cover over it. Then we got our filter on over here. And then, um, so I have to throw the cover on there and then I'm going to put it in place. And then we'll hook up our hose and reel and um, then turn it on and see if we have any leaks or anything. But Almost done. I just want to stop and show you the whole wiring thing real quick before I put the cover on there and wrap this all up. But coming together and looking good. Alright, so I just got the air compressor into its final home over in the corner. I think it actually worked out perfectly. It fits perfectly between the door and the pole. Um, I got my air hose and reel right here hooked up to the pole. I drilled through it and then took some 5 16 nuts, welded them to the pole, put two bolts through it, tightened them up, worked out good. I got all my fittings on here, so everything works as it should. This will be really nice around the garage. I'm really you excited. Match it. Really excited for this. What? You're matching. Yeah, yeah no kidding, huh? Um, but I ended up getting my oil in too. I forgot to mention that earlier. I got the oil in, um, the drains in the bottom, and everything's all hooked up. So final thing now to do is fire it up. So I'm gonna go turn the breaker on. Oh boy. Okay, the plug now has power. 
The only thing I'm nervous about, I know I did everything right. The only thing I'm nervous about is this motor. This is the bigger motor that came with it. The original motor that was on the air compressor is right here, which was only a horse and a half. This one's five horse. The guy told me it ran, but we're about to see. Hey, kaboom, we all die. It's from the motor. Oh, that, that's normal. normal. It wasn't even that loud. I'm just listening for leaks. Oh. Okay, right now I hear no leaks, which this is actually amazing. We have pressure in the tank. We're looking good. Drain works. <laughs> I mean, as it should. So we're looking good. I'm going to let it... Uh, Run here for a minute and uh, fill up, and then I'll uh, check back with you guys in a minute. But I'm super excited and uh, pretty proud of myself for getting this project done. Um, didn't know a lot about air compressors, but now I know about the the motor, the compressor, about the um, pressure switch. You know, I learned a lot about this project, well, on this project, and uh, it was a fun one. And it's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be really nice around the shop to be able to just grab this thing and just go. I'm gonna go all the way to the freaking door. We need to go outside and blow something off. We are good. Go. <laughs> Maco tools. Let's go. I'm super excited. Hell yeah. Got it. So it's the next day, I let the tank sit overnight full and I had a small leak in the plug right here so I just put a couple more turns on it. I'd actually sit here and I was listening around trying to see if I heard where it came from. I could hear a small leak coming from here so I put a couple turns on it. Now it is good and solid, I filled it back up. We haven't lost any pressure. I went and dinked around this last night and was just spraying stuff off, um, having some fun because I put a lot of time in this and I was like, okay, I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit. But overall, I'm really happy with how everything came out. It came out exactly, if not better than what I had in my head. I really like the way the tank looks. The color combo looks really good. The reel looks sick. This freaking uh, hose is really nice. I really like this Flexzilla hose. It's a little spinny, but definitely worth it. And I'm excited to use it, like I said. But I think the tank came out amazing. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. If you guys are new here, make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. So in next video, we'll be working on the second gen. We're going to be finishing up the headliner as far as doing the visors and also sending down the plastics and painting those. So make sure you guys have your post notifications on so you don't miss that video. And any other future videos that we have because I have a ton of stuff and parts coming up. As well as a really big uh, things coming this week, which I'm super excited <sighs> about. And it's been a while... Um, in the making Long because while. yeah everything going on but anyways make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like the video if you enjoyed it and uh we'll see you in the next one you could like pan in on this and then like pan on this and like come over to me putting like one in what is up guys welcome back or two to see if it works and me you don't work okay but <laughs>